In this tutorial video, we're going to go over adding additional scenes, working with audio, and using the camera panning tool. Earlier, we created this scene with the veterinarian's office. Now we want to have a new scene. So in order to do that, we just go down into the timeline and click this plus button, add new scene. And now you'll see I have a blank whiteboard once again, and I can build a scene like we did earlier. This time we're going to do it from scratch. So let's go ahead and take the same character in a different pose. I'd like to flip her. So I'm going to select and click the flip button. And then let's add some text. Select the font that you like, double click to enter, and then you'll just type in your text. I'll add a few more elements here. Okay, that should be fine. Now let's do some work with the text. Let's make this larger and let's change the color. Click the gear icon and select a color. We'll go over all these options in another video. And then we want to line them up. Now if we click the show grid button, it makes lining up your text a little easier. And that should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the grid. And then maybe let's add some the cat again. I'll just use a different cat. And then maybe a dog. Okay, so we have our second scene. Next, we should add a voiceover and some music to our video. So to do that, we're going to go over to the sounds button. And there's two ways you can do this. You can either upload an existing voiceover that you've already created, or you can create a voiceover on the fly. We'll start with the uploading of a voiceover here in Sounds. Click the blue plus sign, and then you're just going to browse for your file. You can also drag and drop it, which I'm going to do right now. It's an MP3 file, and this is just a dummy one that I created. Click continue and then you'll find it in your list. So once you find it in your list of sounds, you simply drag and drop it. Since this is a voiceover, I'm going to put it in this voiceover track. And you'll see that it's pretty close in size. If I want to change the length, I can do that. What you want to do is, is get your little handle over it and then you can just shorten that to the beginning. Likewise, you can do the same on this end if you want. And then just position it into your scene. So now I have a voiceover. And then music is also located here in sounds. And then you'll just scroll through and start listening to music that you until you find what you'd like. Again, all of the music that Doodly includes in, in this library is royalty free, so you can use it in your videos. There are categories, so if you wanted to, to just look at music only, you can do that. Let's take this one, it's about the right length, and you just drag it into the music track and place it. Now you'll see it is a little longer than my video. I have a couple options here. I can either make this video longer. So if I go into my scene settings, I can add extra time at the end of the scene. Let's say five seconds. And that's perfect. Likewise, if I had my heart set on an ending where it did end, if I want it to be shorter. I'll go back to that link. Now I can just take this and drag it so it ends here, okay? Now we probably want to fade out this music rather than have it abruptly end. 
So if you right click, you get the option to fade in and fade out. So I right clicked and now it's going to do a short fade here. If I wanted it to be a more gradual fade, I can lengthen it. Oftentimes you'll find the music's a little louder than you like. So if you click here on the speaker, you have a volume control. So just drag and drop until you get it where you like it. I'm going to have it lower like that. If you want to add some sound effects, you can add additional tracks. So you just click on the three dots and choose add track. So now you can have another track containing sound effects or another voiceover or whatever you want to do here. Now, if you want to record your own voiceover on the fly, you can do that in Doodly as well. So let's go ahead and delete this voiceover that we added earlier. You just select it and then over here on the right, there's an X. Click the X and go ahead and confirm that you want to remove it. Okay, so now that we have a free narration track here, we can go ahead and click the plus sign to record audio. At this point, it is not recording yet. You'll notice it's just blank right here and we're at zero, 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 zero. Once I click this button, it's going to begin playing and then I can begin speaking at the appropriate moment. So here we go. Welcome to the cat doctor. Blah, 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 blah. So this is my voiceover. You'll see that it's recording. And when I click the stop button, it's going to stop. And here's my voiceover track right here. And once again, you can make your adjustments. You wanna just clean it up a little. Maybe I don't want this ending portion. And while I timed it as the video played, maybe I feel like I should have come in a little bit earlier. So I can just drag and drop it over. And finally, I wanted to show you the camera tool. If you click this part of the timeline here and choose the plus button, you can add a zooming or panning effect. So I just did that and I now have a effect here. If I click on it, I can adjust the start and ending points of it, either doing a pan or a zoom. So if I want it to start, maybe I want to pull out, maybe I want to zoom out, I'm clicking unlock start. And now I'm free to change its size and position, okay? So maybe I want to start here and then I want it to end full screen. So I'm going to click apply. And if we hit preview, you'll notice that it zoomed out. It was pretty quick. So I'm going to make it a little bit slower. So let's make it a five second camera move and click preview once again. And there you go.